हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईश्वरी तनिक्षा चैनल दिस इज योर ईश्वरी मैम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जेरेविटीन ऑफ एक्टिव हाइड्रोजन डिटर्मिनेशन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर ग्रिग्नार रिएजेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स हियर जेरेविटीन ऑफ सो दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट he gave a method to find out the number of active hydrogen in a given compound suppose a compound is given to you a so a is the compound given in this you should find out the number of acidic hydrogen active hydrogen is nothing but acidic hydrogen acidic hydrogen then you can use this method which is called as Zerevitinov's active hydrogen determination method. So here, what do we do is we do quantitative quantitative analysis. So students in the lab, you will be doing two types of analysis. So first is quantitative analysis. Second is called as qualitative analysis. Qualitative. so qualitative analysis so what is the meaning of this qualitative analysis meaning is in the given compound you are going to find out what is present that is whether chloro group is present whether bromo group is present so to identify so to identify the element we will be using this method qualitative analysis whereas in quantitative analysis we will be finding out the quantity that is what is the amount of the substance present so amount determination is quantitative analysis and here identification of the element we call it as uh, 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 qualitative analysis so here zerevitinov's active hydrogen determination method is for the quantitative analysis uh that is determination of amount of the uh, element present okay how are we going to uh, do this so how we are going to do this is so here take one example this is ethyl alcohol so whichever compound is given to you take one mole of that so take one take one mole of the compound here it is ethyl alcohol so treat it with grignard reagent so grignard reagent methyl should be there and uh, halogen you can take even iodine or uh, uh, even uh, cl so here we have taken methyl magnesium bromide so here you are treating one mole of ethanol with methyl magnesium bromide so this should be taken in excess quantity so you know that always r group here this is the r group r group will be acting as carb anion that is it will be having partial negative sign so this carb anion will take this proton from here so as a result what is the product you are getting ch3 and h combining together it will form ch4 ch4 and students you know that methane is the gas so gas will be liberated so you here you have to find what is the quantity of gas evolved you need to measure so here if it is one mole so usually here one mole of methane gas will be evolved so you are taking one mole of the compound so one mole of methane gas will be evolved so how do you know this is uh, the gas evolved is one mole so students you know that one mole is equal to one mole of a gas usually will occupy a volume of 22.4 liters of volume at stp condition so check the volume occupied by the gas evolved so that will give you the number of moles so the, uh, that is how we calculate how many moles of methane gas is evolved so here if it is one mole of methane gas is evolved that will tell you how many uh, acidic hydrogen is present in the compound if one mole is evolved one acidic hydrogen will be present is that clear so we'll check with the second example so this is glycol so in glycol we'll take one mole of 
one mole of glycol treat with grignard reagent that is methyl magnesium bromide taken in excess so here the product what you will be getting is again methane gas will be evolved so check what is the number of moles of methane gas evolved so here you can see two moles will be evolved so if two moles is uh, moles are evolved what is your conclusion how many uh, acidic hydrogen will be there if two moles are evolved two acidic hydrogens will be there so here you can see this is one acidic hydrogen and this is second acidic hydrogen so totally there are two acidic hydrogens so we'll take third example so take this compound how many moles you should take take always one mole so one mole of the compound you are taking you are treating with methyl magnesium bromide which is taken in excess quantity so what will be the product the product will be always methane gas will be evolved so check how many moles of methane gas is being evolved so here four moles are evolved you have taken one mole of the reactant you have treated with methyl magnesium bromide which is taken in excess the product what you are getting is methane gas is evolved and it is four moles so how many uh, acidic hydrogen will be present in the compound so four moles means four acidic hydrogen will be present so can you find out those four acidic hydrogens one two three and four so four acidic hydrogens are present therefore four moles of methane gas are being evolved here so we'll take next example so this is the next example so we have taken a compound so take one mole of the compound treat with grignard reagent so grignard reagent here is methyl magnesium bromide which is taken in excess quantity so what is the product you will get here you will get methane gas so methane gas will be evolved so uh, find out how many moles of methane gas evolved so here you will get three moles of methane gas so what is the conclusion you will get from here if three moles of methane gas are evolved it means that three acidic hydrogen will be present in the compound so which are those three acidic hydrogens one two and third one so out of this two any one will be acidic hydrogen so this is three so total 1 2 3 acidic hydrogens are present therefore you will be getting 3 moles of uh, methane gas being evolved so students here out of this two hydrogen only one is acidic uh, not both so why it is the reason for that is see suppose so you, uh, we have taken the molecule so this is the molecule what we have taken so there are two hydrogen atoms so when you remove one hydrogen atom what happens is this two electron you know that one bond is made up of two electrons so here one bond is equal to two electrons isn't it so here one bond is equal to two electrons so those two electrons will shift here so as a result count how many electrons are there inside the ring now 1 2 3 4 and 2 what has shifted inside so 5 6 total 6 electrons are present now so you will be getting so you will be getting here a ring with delocalization of electrons containing 6 electrons total 6 electrons will be there and this is the hydrogen atom so total 6 electrons so here this compound is aromatic now so you know that if the compound is aromatic it will be more stable so if it becomes more stable then it will not give this hydrogen whereas here you see 1 2 3 4 inside the ring only four electrons are present so here only four electrons are present so if four electrons are present it is not aromatic it is not stable so that is why it can give one hydrogen once it gives a hydrogen uh, the ring will have six electrons so six electrons means the ring becomes aromatic and it becomes more stable so that is why now it will not give that 
hydrogen so that is why in this molecule out of two only one it can donate which is called as acidic hydrogen so students uh, you know the aromatic compound formula isn't it that is 4n plus 2 that is uh, if n is so uh, if you use this formula 4n plus 2 so here you will be getting if the number of electrons are 2 inside the ring then it will be aromatic if the number of uh, electrons inside the ring is 6 it will be aromatic then 10 then 14 so if this many electrons are present it will be aromatic so see here this ring is having 6 electrons therefore this ring is aromatic whereas here it has 4 electron we don't have 4 electrons here so here there is no 4 electron therefore this is not aromatic so if it is not aromatic it, uh, it is unstable so by losing uh, hydrogen it is becoming aromatic therefore now it is not ready to lose this hydrogen so here in this example there are three acidic hydrogen therefore we got here three moles of methane gas which is being liberated so this is the method which is given by the scientist uh, Zerivitinovs so this method is called as Zerivitinovs uh, active hydrogen determination so I hope students the concept is clear to you so if you need to ask any uh, doubts about this you can write in the comment box I will meet you in the next video students bye bye